Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is a lighthouse from the same person that I'm helping on the map. And she said it has a white background, and it does because I have a yellow box, and you can see it's white. The first thing I always do before I start, I control D and make a duplicate of this and just move it out of the way in case I go too far and mess something up. Then with this selected, go to your crop tool. And this probably doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna crop it and make the white smaller. Doesn't, might not help, but I like doing it and I have my own reasons, I guess. And then I'm gonna to go to bitmap, I'm gonna resample, and because I've reduced it in size, it's 300 dots per inch. I'm not gonna, this is a black object on a white object, so I don't need to turn it into a bitmap. It really is already a bitmap. I don't need to convert it. So I'm just gonna trace, outline, trace, and clip art. And you can see it's removed all this white except for the inside. So we have a completely good image. There are a few things wrong with it. If we look in close, uh, this isn't straight and the windows are bad and that's why I decided to do the window or do the video. I'm going to go to object and group and ungroup this lighthouse and just make a few cosmetic changes. I'm gonna take my shape tool, I'm gonna to select both of them and I'm gonna go right here to align nodes vertically and it made that even. Align nodes vertically. It just gives it a little bit better look. Uh, if you wanted it perfect, you could do it perfect. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna replace, we're gonna replace the windows. Instead of trying to fix this, we're just gonna replace the windows. So what we need to do, let's zoom in here. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the white background. Tell you what, I'm gonna get rid of my yellow box. I'm gonna just left click no fill because it has a white fill. Don't really probably have to do this, but we might, it might help us in the long run. Then we're gonna take the rectangle tool and we're gonna make a rectangle about the size of that window. It's a hairline, it's really thick. And then I'm gonna take another one, Control D and make a duplicate. And I'm gonna move it over to that position. I'm gonna shift select both red ones. I'm gonna go to effects and blend and I'm gonna go to effects and blend. Oh, I don't know where my, my blend docker in opening. There, there it is. It was kind of hidden. And I'm gonna just blend two of them because we've already got two. And now we got the four. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our object and I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. And I'm going to left click, right click and outline. And I'm gonna take these boxes, select them even with this uh, shape tool and, and delete them. Now I'm gonna do, put it back, grab the smart, let me zoom in here a little bit. Grab the smart fill tool and fill it with black. And now we have four windows that are good and then I'm gonna right click no outline. Same thing on, on this. Uh, I really don't have to do this, but I'm gonna make this you can see the windows get progressively smaller. So let's try that. Let's draw a rectangle about the size of that window. And let's draw a rectangle about the size of that window. Let me zoom in here a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Do the same thing we did before and nudge that out of the way. That's our really our real copy. I'm gonna get rid of that one just by hitting delete. Well, I'm gonna to have to go to object, break curve apart to get that one delete. I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard to get them centered to, from each other. And then I'm gonna to go to effects and blend and I hit bevel. I do that a lot. Shift select both of them and I'm just gonna blend one time. 
What it did, it put a window between the two, progressively a little bit smaller. We need to go to object, break, blend apart, go to object and group and ungroup. And now we're gonna make them a little bit, we're gonna use another Docker. We're gonna use, we're gonna go to Windows, Dockers, and align and distribute. We're gonna grab, they're still grouped together. We're gonna grab these three and we're gonna align them from the, let's say what the center looks like. That's not gonna work. We're gonna align them from the bottom edge. I've got something going on here. Let's see what's going on. Go to object. I convert them to curve, that shouldn't matter. You know what, I've st still got that other, let me nudge that out of the way, that's what it is. We've got another object in there. I'm nudging, well I deleted that one. I'm nudging the windows away and I'm deleting the black. That's what our problem was. Now I can take our windows back Put them in there, grab them all, and we're gonna use, let's put the, the middle to the middle. That doesn't look as good. Let's put the bottoms to the bottom equally. That still doesn't look good. Let me zoom in here. Well, I don't know why that's not. There we go. Needed this one right here, the, so the, the space between them vertically. Then just take your Smart Fill tool. Well, let's get our windows back. I'm gonna, well, the easiest thing now, because we've nudged, let's make this, no, let's X out of there, no fill, and let's take these windows away. You gotta break it apart. We're gonna use the original one. Now we're gonna take these three and nudge them over. I'm only grabbing one at a time for some reason. And get the Smart Fill tool again and fill that in and left click, no outline. Then we can just nudge our two waves over again. And when you're using the nudge, just keep it the same. I didn't get the outline taken away from these. Let's select them. Let's right click, no outline. There you have a good, clean graphic vector. Let's use a yellow box trick just to double check. Object, order, back a page. And you have a good, clean lighthouse for her new map. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.